Hi guys. Today we're gonna to make paper mache. Now we're gonna do it two ways and what you're gonna need is a balloon, a bowl, a little bit of flour, a little bit of water, and something to stir it with. You're also gonna need some newspaper and a tray to work on, okay, so you don't make a mess. I also have a scissors. The first thing I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna cut off the rim of this bowl. So mom might wanna help you with this. And I'm gonna to try to do it evenly just to make it so it's gonna be a little easier to make our bowl. So I'm just quickly cutting off this rim. That way I won't have to worry about hooking it underneath the rim. There you go. Don't need that anymore. Set that aside, I'll get rid of that later. This is gonna be my form. Now, we're gonna do the paper mache two different ways. One's gonna be a bowl, and one's gonna be like a little maraca kind of thing, which we'll show you how to do later, or a baby pinata, okay. So, to do the balloon one, you're gonna first blow up a balloon. Got it. Okay, tie that off. Now you need something the balloon to hold, sit in. So, I'm just gonna put the balloon in a little cup that's gonna hold in. You're also gonna need some newspaper. So to do that, you're gonna rip up the newspaper. Now newspaper rips really weird. So if you rip it in one direction, it doesn't rip well at all. So if I rip it this way, it will rip like this repeatedly into little hunks. But if I rip it this way, it rips into strips. So you wanna rip some strips, but you can also use some of these little humps. So I'm gonna keep them too to fill in little holes I have. So I have a whole bunch already ripped up so we don't have to waste too much time. So I'll just rip up a little bit more. And I'm actually gonna rip some of these in half because I don't need them that long. And you wanna spread them out so you can easily reach them when your fingers are all sticky and not grab a whole many, all of them at one time. Okay, I don't need that. Okay, we will start with the balloon. You're gonna take your flour and you're gonna add it to your water. So you wanted to make it the consistency of pancake batter, okay? So you're just gonna add some flour into some water and it's gonna be just pancake batter. So you wanna get rid of your lumps, okay? And this is just gonna be like pancake batter kind of. If you have to add a little more flour, go for it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Okay. I think I'm pretty good here. All right, let that sit, put this down, take this. I'm right-handed, so I have all of my paper on my right side or in front of me. So what you're gonna do first is, I wanna make sure that I can grab a couple of strips, dip them, roll up your sleeves past your elbow. You don't wanna make a mess. So if you wanna do this outside, it might be smart. If not, make sure you have a tray down, okay? Um, you dip your strip into the flour and water, wipe off your excess, and then rub it on your balloon, just like that, okay? Rub it down, okay? Onto it it goes, so it's nice and smooth. And now you take another strip, rub off your pancake batter, and go a different direction this time. I'm going a different direction. And I'm gonna take another one, do the same exact thing. Go in a different direction. You wanna cover the entire balloon with it. Grab another one. Wrap them around. Spread them on nice and tight. Now, if it gets a little wet for you, you can take a dry one and lay a dry one on top of it to absorb some of the wet moisture. That works well too. You can also do this with wallpaper paste. If mom's been doing some wallpapering or dad, 
you could use that. If um, you could use glue and water, if you don't have flour handy at home, you could use that. You could use some pancake batter, you could use that. Um, there's lots of different ways to make it stick on. So here I've done this one side. You're gonna give this about three coats of paper. So once I finish this one side, I wanna make sure I got all my blue balloon covered and I've kept Chris Hodge in different directions. Turn them over. And now I'm gonna do this side. So very quickly, you just wanna cover your whole entire balloon with your strips. So different direction, keep going in different directions. My wallpaper paste, could, my, uh, not wallpaper paste, my flower could be a little bit uh, thicker, but it'll work fine for what I want because I'm gonna give it extra coats. And go one right here, that's perfect. Rotate, rotate your cup so you see what's happening. Go this direction. Get a dry one, I need a dry one. So I basically have one coat of it on. You're gonna need at least three. Let this dry. Need one more little, use one of these little dry ones, cover up, little patch I have right here. Okay, I'll let him dry. So I'm gonna let him sit and dry for a few minutes. I'm gonna take my bowl. I'm gonna do the same thing with the bowl. I'm gonna take the strip, dip them in, get them all covered, wipe off the excess, and cover my bowl, the inside, and the outside, inside and the outside. Make it nice and smooth and tight on it, just like that, okay? Get another one, and I'm gonna go in a different direction. Now for the bowl, my strips could be a little longer, so I'm gonna grab another one, make it a little longer, wipe off my excess, cover it, go on the other side, wipe it down tight, so I made a big X, see it? Front and back, grab another one, I'm doing it again, front and back, wipe off my excess, front and back. Get another one. This time I'm gonna go from the side out, front and back. I actually enjoy doing this. I have warm water, because I like the feel of the warm water. I don't like cold water on mine. But, uh, oh, I have a little puddle in here, so I'm gonna take a dry one, put a dry one in, and put a dry one down to absorb some of the wet moisture. See it? See how it's coming together? You see that? I'm gonna grab another dry one. Nice strip right here. Put him down. Cover it up. And notice how my bowl's getting all covered nice. Get the outside nice, press it on tight, press it on tight. Now the bowl's gonna, might need two coats, just instead of three. The balloon might need three, but the, this already has the cardboard from the paper plate bowl, so I might only need two. Get this on. Little paper plate right here. These make nice little gifts, like if you're gonna make someone something, you could do these really pretty. You can make um, maracas, you can fill them with candy, you can fill them with anything you feel like, there's no right or wrong. You just wanna make sure you get all of it dry before you put another coat on. So as you see, here it comes, see it? You see how that's going? You see the bowl? That's bowls coming, front and back. I'm just rubbing them all in nice. You just wanna cover up every little bit of white paper plate <laughs> till it's all covered. I have a little bit of white right here. I'm gonna grab a strip right there. Just pick up some of the stuff on the floor right here. Use the back of it, cover it, go to the front then. There you go. All right, I got one coat on this. Let me just add one on the side right here.
I think it makes it so much easier if you um, take the lip off. You could leave the lip on, but then you have to make sure you get underneath the lip when you're making them stick, okay? But it's up to you how hard you want to make this, how complicated. So here's the first coat on the bowl. See it? And it's on nice and tight. We're gonna let it dry then, let that dry. For your balloon, you would let this dry too. So let me show you one that I already started earlier. So here is my first balloon. I did the first one, so that first coat, let that dry. And I would just add a second coat then. So for the bowls, I started a bowl earlier. This one has a lip on it. As you can see, I started one with a lip and I started doing the, sticking it underneath the lip. So you could easily do it like that. This one's going on it, getting dry. I stopped doing it because um, I wanted to show one without a lip. So you could see how they, how they look. Um, I'm just gonna put that aside. Now, let's say I didn't wanna cover the whole thing up. You could peel it off of the cardboard, just do the thing, and you can paint it then. You paint it. I started painting this one black. You can still see how your paper mache, here it is. And they get hard, see, can you hear it? When you peel them off, they're hard. They become hard. And um, you can add clear nail polish on top of it to make it shiny. I could add flowers on the side of this. I didn't paint the inside because I wanted you to see the newspaper, how it looks. But I started painting this, but I wanted you to see how it's just newspaper. It's all newspaper. And I just started painting this because then I would put flowers on it. I could do anything I want to it. And then add clear acrylic paint to make it permanent. So if it got wet again, it would be fine. But I could make it for a change thing for my dad, like to put his change in or keys in by the front door, little hand sanitizers in it. Um, you know, put anything you want. It could be for anything, okay? I hope you guys have fun doing this and make sure you help clean up, okay? So this can go right down the sink, just water it down and make sure you gather all your paper up and throw it into the recycling bin and um, make sure you wipe down the table real good too. Have fun doing this project and I hope they turn out great. Have a great day, guys. Bye.